Today I stand before you humbled and grateful for the trust and the confidence that has been placed in me once again. As your member of parliament, I do not take it lightly and I remain fully committed to serving you, the people of St. Martin. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to my esteemed colleagues, each and every one of you elected here to represent and play a pivotal role in the development of our country. As we embark on our new term, I pledge to continue to work tirelessly together for continued progress and prosperity for our country. Some say they love it with their words, but I want us to show it in our actions. I've heard a lot about collaboration in here and I hope to see it in reality. I'm confident that we can overcome any obstacle and achieve great things for our beloved country. Thank you once again for the unwavering support and faith placed in me by the people of St. Martin. One of my favorite quotes is that if your dreams don't scare you, then they are definitely not big enough. If it is possible for me to be here, that means it's possible for you to be here. I'm just a regular guy from Sucker Garden that never stopped dreaming and never stopped pushing forward. To the people of St. Martin, we will embark on this journey together. I emphasize on the word together because only together we can make positive change in St. Martin. Once again, congratulations. Have a great afternoon and God bless the people of St. Martin. To Jehovah, I give all the praise. Today, on, on, on the 10th of February, 2024, I humbly accept this seat with a profound sense of duty and responsibility. I stand before you and I vow that my work will be dedicated to the best interests of all individuals residing on this beautiful island of St. Martin. I pledge that every decision and action that I may take will be guided by the commitment to advance the well-being and the prosperity of our nation. It, is, it serves with greater good of our country. Rest assured that it will be my utmost priority to see it through to completion. Furthermore, I give my solemn assurance that I will not hesitate to bridge party boundaries when necessary, recognizing that all collaboration and cooperation are fundamental to the advancement of our people and the progress of our beloved St. Martin. Let us work together with unwavering determination and solidarity to build a brighter future for each and every citizen of our country, St. Martin. Madam Chair Lady, thank you. Today is a special day. I'm deeply honored to stand before you as a newly elected member of parliament. At 33 years old, I bring not only just youth, but also a wealth of experience as an attorney at law, ready to provide you with that five-star representation. I want you to know that I take this responsibility seriously. Your trust in me will not go unheeded. I'm here to serve you, to be your voice, and to champion your needs in the highest body of our country. Hold me accountable, challenge me. Together, let us embark on a journey of change, a change that's long overdue. We need to be role models for our kids, embodying vision and hope. As my grandmother always used to say, dream, believe, and achieve. I live by that motto, and I'm carried it into my service to you. Proper representation is a must because you deserve it. The youth is our future. Let's prepare them. Fair chances for all, no matter your last name or your background. To my fellow colleagues, congratulations. Remember, it's our duty to work hard and give the people of St. Martin what they deserve. Country above self, and let's stay focused. My vision for St. Martin is one of unity and progress. Together we will shape policies that benefit every citizen, regardless of their background or circumstances. Together we will build a brighter future for our children and our grandchildren. But let us remember, change requires the collective effort of all. I urge you to join me in this endeavor. Let us work hand in hand to overcome obstacles and realize our shared aspirations. Thank you for your trust and support. 
Together we will write a new chapter in the history of St. Martin, a chapter filled with hope, opportunity, and prosperity for all. As I said during my campaign trail, let's raise the bar. Let's keep this tribune full and also after today. Also to our online viewers, keep tuning in and keep holding us accountable. Stay involved. I also want to give a special thanks to my ancestors, my grandmother and my parents. I thank you for always pushing me and staying by my side. Thank you and may God bless us and our beautiful country. Thank you. RBC, we know the roles you have to play can change quickly. Whether it's a homeowner, a new parent, today's head chef, sales person of the month, or the family chauffeur. Whatever life asks you to be. RBC is a bank for all of you. SFV insured? Do you have a valid medical insurance status? SFV is cardless. Request your My SFV account today and enter the virtual office of SFV. Go to SFV.SX and sign up now. SFV, yeah. your social health insurance. First and foremost, Madam Chair Lady, I extend my gratitude to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Additionally, a heartfelt thank you to the 423 voters who entrusted me with their support. Your confidence in me is truly humbling. This election, Madam Chair Lady, has been a distinctive one for me. Despite a demanding schedule, I remain true to the essence of my campaign slogan, Together We Can. And as you've noticed, the word together has been used a lot. So bear with me again when I use the word together. I focused on rebuilding the Democratic Party with my leader, MP Sarah Westcott Williams, by providing a platform for my fellow candidates to promote themselves. That was important for me. That was the focus. That essence made campaigning a bit challenging for me personally. I was, however, able to attend maybe five or six contact meetings for me personally, but, um, but thanks to a few radio, state radio interviews and a little social media here and there, I had the opportunity to engage with the people of St. Martin and share my campaign pledges. So to my core loyal supporters, know that you are not just numbers, you are the bedrock of my campaign. Your unwavering support means the world to me, and I'm committed to representing the interests with the, your interests with utmost dedication. Four years ago today, during my first speech in this legislative hall, I pledged I will put my people first. Reflecting on the past term, my guiding principle has been Swaliga first, and I steadfastly uphold that pledge today. Four years ago, I said in this legislative hall, ik ben geen ja knikker. And today, I can look at myself in the mirror and take pride in the person gazing back to me. Four years ago, I said standing up 
has to mean something. Today, I proudly affirm that I stood up for those in need, and even if it meant facing crucifixion, I stood alone with dignity. As I embark on another term as a parliamentarian, my legislative agenda is centered on shaping laws that directly impact our community's well-being and progress. Agriculture, constitutional reform, growing our economy, diversifying our economy, and global and regional integration will be my primary focus this term. I'm dedicated to finding innovative ways to stimulate St. Martin's economy and increasing our govern, govern, governor, government coffers creatively. To my fellow coalition partners, together let's pave the way for a more robust and dynamic future for our beautiful Swaliga. Together let's take heed of the saying that goes, we agree to disagree, yet move forward as a unit. Together, let's always remember that if everyone is moving forward, then success takes care of itself. Together we shall, together we will, and together we can. May God protect, guide, and give us discernment to always put Swaliga first. Thank you, Madam Chair Lady. Many of my colleagues have spoken already and spoken strong. Honestly, I'm happy to see all of you here, all elected members. Everybody put hope in us. That way we are here today, all 15 of us. I'm very proud of every individual in here. I'm not a person much to talk much. Everybody has negative, bad comments about me. Hey, I embrace them all. But I'm going to tell you, are you in a rough field? Welcome to the new ones. Yeah, don't look at me, it's true. I, I want to also thank my mother. She's not here, she passed away. She's my mother, my queen, I love her. She raised this man here today to who I am, and honestly, I must say, sometimes, like how Kevin was just now nervous, trust me, I'm nervous every time I talk, every time I speak, it's very difficult for me sometimes. I have a speech, tight tongue sometimes, but I mostly go along sometimes, still pushing, continue, whatever, everybody know me. Everybody know me the man of the action, everybody know see me, I out there, individual, talk to people. People don't see me much, people don't know about me, everybody got judgment. It's a new year, we have all in here, I want everybody to work together. I hear everybody speaking about it, now I want to see it. I hope there's no politics this year. Everybody work together, I just want to see this. So I want everybody talk, 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 and nobody don't do no action for you. Because then I was doing the same thing like every other politician. Come on, the new time, a new term, let's do the best for everybody. Country Samaritan first. I can stand here as the new leader of the United People's Party and say, we are out to have a hell of a term. When you hear MP Akim Arundel speaking with such poise, with such confidence, and that's what I told him. I said, one of my tasks is not only to excel myself, but show that I can excel my colleagues. And I'm very proud of you for standing up and speaking like that today. It shows confidence. St. Martin, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to the 66% of the eligible voting population that came out and voted for each and every one of us. I hear some of us reflect on four years ago, and politics do make some strange bedfellows. A lot of changes can occur in four years. Some of us came in four years ago as a faction, as a team, and we are here today. Some of us are back but on different teams, different factions, different goals. And this is a part of learning. See, we form a team and we think sometimes that we have the same ideologies. And then we realize that we all have the best interests. I wouldn't say that no one has the interests of this country at heart, but sometimes it's just different. And that is what politics is about. That is why you have different voting demographics. And that is why we have different parties with different ideologies. I have exemplified in my time as minister the willingness to carry on and push work, whether it was from me, from previous parties, previous ministers, and to the public and to everyone. You have my commitment, even as I sit here in opposition, to work in the interests of St. Martin and not just grandstand, 
or vote against because I am in opposition. If you, the government, or the incoming government, come with something that is beneficial to this country and beneficial to the people, you will have my support. I will be critical. I will be pay keen attention. And to whomever is the incoming minister of VSR, figuratively, figuratively and literally, you have big shoes to fill. Okay, size 14. But definitely, to the 774 voters, including myself, that place that dot by my name and exhibited that confidence in me to make me the highest vote getter in the country, that is an accolade that I will wear proudly. That is an accolade that stated, Omar E.C. Atli, we, the people of St. Martin, chose you to represent us. And I will continue to represent you with the best of my ability and with 100% of my heart. I would like to thank God. I would like to thank the people of St. Martin. I would like to thank my family. This was one of the most interesting elections I have ever seen. And I guess at the end of the day, we steadfast, we stood strong, and we became the number one in the country. So to my family, to my mother, my father, my supporters, my brothers, my family at home, my daughter, everyone, thank you. St. Martin, we will represent you to the best of our ability with the three seats that we have. And we look forward to working with each and every one of you for the betterment of St. Martin. Thank you. SV insured? Do you have a valid medical insurance status? SV is cardless. Request your MySV account today and enter the virtual office of SV. Go to SV.SX and sign up now. SV, yeah. your social health insurance At RBC, we know the roles you have to play can change quickly. Whether it's a homeowner, a new parent, Today's head chef, Saints Person of the Month, or the family chauffeur. Whatever life asks you to be. RBC is a bank for all of you. It's time for a new brand that is as bold vibrant and colorful as the island of St. Martin, with colors drawn from our diversity, cultural heritage, and nature. Our breathtaking beaches, waters, and sun, the majestic brown pelican, our national symbol, the radiant yellow sage, our national flower, the historic border monument signifying the Dutch and French side. Our exciting cruise, yachting, and boating ports. Renowned Maho Beach and St. Martin Airport, the hub to the Caribbean. All these parts come together to create the shape of the island of St. Martin. More than a logo. It's a new brand that engages, excites, and will inspire travelers to book. It's time to tell the St. Martin story, to reintroduce travelers to St. Martin, to honor our past, to embrace our present, and shape our future, our culture and diversity, Dutch and French side, unrivaled cuisine, twice the nightlife, entertainment, and shopping, cruises, boating, and yachting. 
twice the adventure, exploration, and relaxation. Splendid and scenic accommodation. Pinel, Tentamar, and island hopping in the Caribbean. Whatever your taste, St. Martin has more. Experience twice the Caribbean. St. Martin. In the style of the early settlers, the town crier let it be known, the Whole Town Festival 2024 was officially open. Whole Town 2024, we are ready! Are you ready? Woo! Member of Parliament for St. James South, Sandra Husbands, in reflecting on the theme, Jamestown then, Whole Town now, spoke to improvements for the area. This beautiful town here, Whole Town, has been the beneficiary of improvements brought by the government, designed to further enhance the living and comfort of our citizens. The rehabilitation of Highway 1 has brought some relief to the traveling public, and the second phase of that work on the northern section is soon to commence. She added that other roads leading to the area were also irritants for road users, as they were in a deplorable condition. However, these too will be remedied. Mount Stanfast Road, that has been done. The Seaview Road, which will end by Lime Grove, just a stone's throw away from us. The design work has already started, and eventually the actual road works will begin. And all of this is part of government's commitment of $30 million in a road works program. That being said, every road needs to be repaired, but they can't be repaired all at the same time. So it's important that Barbadians and visitors have that patience as we work through renewing our roads. The festival also honored those who helped to build it in vendors like Roger Don Goodrich, who took over from his mother, Sheila Goodrich. The most honorable Stetson Red Plastic Bag Wilshire, who performs when available at the festival, and former chairman of the Whole Town Festival, Eon Phillips, and his daughter Charlene collected on his behalf. There was also merriment in the streets with the parade, which featured the Frederick Smith Secondary School Band, the Youth Advance Score, and Dancing Africa. There was great comedy and culture on stage as Dolene Bowen shared history through artifacts. The cycles was so up down. Then you soap up, you rub, and you ball in. And Janine White had the audience in stitches with her spoken word. The mistake that I made, right, was getting up on the bypass bus. <laughs> now, first thing first, I didn't even know the first step to get in the bus was so high. Because when I put up my hand to catch the bus and I went to get in, I the footing coming up at all, at all, at all. While Calypso Monarch, I went perform. The brain is the center of a wisdom, cerebral cortex and the cerebellum. If you dare to delve little deeper, check the medulla of Longata. Yes, in the field of neurology, we must understand how exactly. The festival continues until Sunday. Wendy Burke, CBC News.